So uh, we're just going to run through uh, how to fit a set of airbags or buoyancy blocks into uh, your canoe. First thing we're going to need to do is measure out the rope and approximately to do one bag or end block you want three good spans of rope. That will be enough to do one block and obviously the same again to do the second. That's two, that's three. So that will be enough rope to do both ends. So uh, now we're going to cut the rope and get ready to drill the boat. So if you don't have the luxury of a hot knife at home to cut the rope nice and neatly, a really good way of doing it is to just wrap a couple of turns of electrical tape around the, around the rope where you want to cut it. And then uh, tidy that up. I'm going to find a piece of wood and cut that with a Stanley knife through the middle of the tape. And then you can burn the end with a blowtorch, which keeps the end of the rope nice and neat and ready to go through the holes you drill in your boat. So now we need to uh, mark up for where we're going to drill the holes down the side of the boat for the lacing to put these blocks in. Um, and I like to do it in a way that's maybe a little unusual. You can get tape measure and plan this out, but I know from having done quite a few of these that if we go there, that's going to give us our first hole for the end loop. And then we can just template that, carry on down. Um, to, to mark the rest of the holes. I know that working with this particular drill, the holes only there, 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 and there. So now we'll get the drill. We do, we'll repeat that around the other four quarters of the boat, get the drill and uh, drill our holes. So now it's time to drill the holes. We mark these up, five holes down each side or down each quarter um, so when you're drilling into the boat just be positive good hold of the boat good hold of the drill I'll do that so you can see it um, it goes through as easy as that on to the next one hold the boat get the drill started there you go carry on around that ten, 10 holes on each side 20 holes in total Let's get drilling. So uh, we've drilled the holes, as you've seen. Um, next we get one of our lengths of rope, throw it in through both sides of the, the end hole. And we can then pull the rope through. Make sure it's nice and tight. Um, there's several reasons you want that quite tight. Obviously there's a snag risk. And you also don't ever want to be able to have people put their hand through that because if anything happens to the boat, the boat moves significantly and their hand is through a, a rope loop. That can obviously potentially cause some quite painful issues to uh, the person who put their hand through that loop. So try and keep this loop nice and tight. And the way that we do that is just a simple overhand knot. And then we thread that right up into the end of the boat which then secures that end loop. So now we need to lace the block in. There's a million and one ways of doing this and the blocks that are out there are all quite different. The way that I like to do these ones is pass the rope through there one direction, the other one through there and then pull that tight. That's going to pull the block up into the end of the boat and then I like to, once that's pulled right up there, again we just tie that off. So that secured the block into the end of the boat. And then we can run this lacing through the the holes that we've already uh, created with the drill. So you'll go out through the next hole and then in through that hole which then allows us to pick up that webbing loop on the block and then I like to come over 
Uh, this hole here. If these holes have got a little bit of plastic swarf left in them from, from drilling, you can always just run the drill through it again to clear it out. Or Next year, quite often, if you're lucky, you can push the rope through to clear it out, which saves going to get the drill again. There we go, that's coming through now. And then we go back in through that last hole there. Mine bleach, mine bleach. And then same, but in reverse. So then we pick up the last two webbing loops on the bottom end of the blocks. And then, once again, there's, there's many different ways of doing this. Just for speed today, I'm just going to do a simple reef knot there. Run the spare rope up, down, and just tensions the block, or the string rather, on the block. A few knots there. And then, to seal that, I always like to just get a blowtorch, run a bit of heat through that knot. But you can play around, there's many different patterns and nice, neater, neater ways maybe of doing that. But essentially, that's the block now fully secured in the end of the boat. So, here's a little bit of a Sort of inside trick that we do sometimes. So we've got a situation with this boat where the stern seat is quite close to the end of the boat. The block's going to fit in nicely, we can tell that by sort of lining it up like so. But it's just a bit tight on actually getting the block into that position in the boat. So if you've got a decent strong paddle, you can put the paddle there and you just lever the block down into the boat like so, and then we can lace the block. Yeah, river roots, y'all, uh, revolutionary innovation.